All right, speaking of Looney Tunes, our third topic is one that I didn't think I was going to talk about, but, you know, I asked basically um, at uh, Facebook, I wanted, and some of them friends are with on Facebook, uh, who's working on a, a game right now called Flare something, Solo Flare. I, I'll provide the name, probably the link down below. You can check it. If I, if I get the link, I'll provide it down below. But he's a fan of Looney Tunes and Tex Avery and all that. So his character, Flair, I think that's her name, Solo Flair or something like that, is based off those kind of, based off that design. But anyway, getting back on topic, um, I recently asked if, because they were talking about the new Looney Tunes show and how they, the new Looney Tunes cartoons on HBO Max, and how they were pretty good. And I asked if there was any, you know, melting in it, you know, because I'm a fan of the gag. And he said, oh, yeah, there's melting in several of the episodes. And when I asked, you know, which ones, he hasn't answered yet. But that's cool. That's all right. Give him time. But when I was looking it up, when I was looking it up, it came up on YouTube and Google. It came up with the new Looney Tunes show as well as the new Looney Tunes cartoons or just the new Looney Tunes. The new Looney Tunes, which basically was evolved from Wabbit, which was a Bugs Bunny show, a new Bugs Bunny show. So the new Looney Tunes was a show that was a successor to Wabbit. And it featured not just Bugs, but featured everybody from Daffy, Porky, Tweety, you know, Yosemite Sam, Elmer, you know, I think Roadrunner, you know, Wiley, you name it. And surprisingly, it also focused, it also showcased Lola. Yeah, Lola Bunny was in this. And surprisingly, Lola here is voiced by Kat Sushi, the original voice of her in Space Jam. And from what I, I was able to look up, this version of Lola is a hybrid of what we got in the Looney Tunes show and Rabbit's Run, which was a Looney Tunes show movie, and her Space Jam personality. So it's basically like a, a hybrid of both. And you can tell it's Kat Sushi voicing her because she's using that kind of a vocal tone of, yeah, vocal tone that you're used to seeing or used to hearing out of the likes of, you know, characters from Rugrats or characters from 101 Dalmatians like Rolly and Cat Pig. So you're used to hearing that and you can t definitely tell that she's applying that into this new version of Lola. And it's basically, you could tell like a, a hybrid of her. And this Lola is actually kind of fun. I like this hybrid version. I'll, I'll give you that. But speaking of Lola, the question that I have is since she appeared in the new Looney Tune cartoons, which was the successor of Rabbit on Boomerang and Cartoon Network, the question is, is she going to show up in the new Looney Tunes cartoons on HBO Max? I know they only have a few episodes listed right now, just like 11 episodes, 11, 10 episodes listed right now, and you know there's more to come. So the question is, will she be focused on in some of those? I would have to say yes. I'd have to say most definitely um, she will be focused on um, in the future. She will be focused on um, in the future you know down the line but the question is when will that happen well I think with Space Jam 2 a new legacy set to, day, set to be in theaters by next year we're believing it will be we're believing it will be uh, basically there's no and with the expectation that you have to have not just Bugs and Daffy and all of them in there like in the original, but you also have to have Lola and maybe Penelope Pussycat. Um, the question's going to be, are we going to get any cartoons based, you know, focused on Lola and maybe even Penelope, but mostly on Lola? Are we going to get those cartoons? Are we going to get cartoons with Lola Bunny in the new Looney Tunes cartoons on HBO Max? Are we going to get those, or are we just going to have to wait for the new Space Jam, you know, the new Space Jam to uh, basically, 
you know, see her on the big screen again. And that's going to be the question. What version of Lola are we going to get? Are we going to get the Lola we got uh, in Space Jam, which kind of hinted at the end that she might be a lot more loonier than we expected. And I guess they kind of capitalized on that with, uh, <laughs> with the new Looney Tunes show and then the new, Loon the new Looney Tunes, if you will. You know, are we going to get, uh, are we going to get this, low, are we going to get that Lola, that hybrid Lola, Lola that we got in these Looney Tunes shorts that she stars in? You know, when it comes to Space Jam, a new legacy, it's going to be quite interesting to see which version of Lola we get. I'm assuming that since they got Katsushi back to voice her in the new Looney Tunes uh, shorts, or it's basically the successor of Rap, which are, again, the su successor of Rabbit, or the new season of the Wabbit so show, it makes you wonder if perhaps that's the Lola we're going to get in Space Jam. Makes you wonder. But again, getting back on topic, are we going to see Lola in the new Looney Tune cartoons on HBO Max? Again, like I said, they already have a set of cartoons set up and ready to go. The question is, will the next set of cartoons they produce and release in the future for like a second season, will they have Lola? I think because this was a what was it the third season of Wabbit under the, and the second season under the new Looney Tunes name, name or subtitle name or, or surreal name or surname. I've got a feeling that because she appeared around the uh, third season, end of the second into the third, I would assume that the second season is of the new Looney Tune cartoons on HBO Max is when we'll get her. But again. You know, when it comes to those and it comes to Space Jam, a new legacy, mostly Space Jam, a new legacy, are we going to get this hybrid of Lola in both? I would assume we are. I found it funny. I found it very funny and everything because you could tell she has uh, the, the personality of both, like that competitive streak, but she also has the uh, wacky and silliness of the Christine Wig uh, character from the new Looney Tunes show. So... I'm hoping we get this hybrid version of Lola, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that's alone in that. Um, but again, are we going to see her in her own shorts with the new Looney Tune cartoons um, in the near future? And will we see her adversary? Because one thing, obviously, that they did is they took a character that was kind of an adversary to Bugs and made her the main adversary of Lola, and that's uh, the character's name is Rhonda. So. And so it's going to be really interesting to see what they do there. It kind of reminds me of what uh, Universal did along with Fox with the new Woody Woodpecker show uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. And how even though you would have Woody and Winnie teamed up together in some shorts, you would have Winnie with her own shorts and everything. And it'd be similar adversaries, if not different ones. And the meanie character, the uh, what's that? Yeah, meanie who the female antagonist to Woody became like the main antagonist to Winnie. So it, it's going to be really intriguing to see what they do. And um, I can't. So it's going to be really intriguing to see what they do with Lola when it comes to Space Jam, A New Legacy and the new Looney Tunes cartoons on HBO Max. But again, will she get, will she appear, will she get her own shorts? I believe she will. Will we get this version of Lola that we got in the new Looney Tunes shorts on Boomerang, the successor of Rabbit? I believe we will and I cannot wait to see um, I can't wait to see those happen or that happen uh, in the next year or so because again if Lola's going to be in Space Jam if Lola's going to be in Space Jam then you know she's got to um, be um, given her own little reintroduction in the new Looney Tune cartoons to help promote that so let me know what you guys think and let's get on to the fourth and final topic.